future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Iowa Cubs and the Durham Bulls. It's baseball. Ladies it's the show. And it comes your, your way Durham next. Bulls. Striding in is Nick Madrigal. He will lead this one off today. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schnell will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. And now in the box, Connor Myers. Connor Myers. The one two. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Now into the box, Bryce Ball. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. The batter will be Vidal Brujan. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. up to a 3-2 full count now. Full count. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Boils another one. And this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. Payoff pitch one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. Throws in time and that's out number one. So now to the plate. Jordan Luplo. The right fielder. Jordan Luplow. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gutierrez is in his tracks now. And there's the second out of the inning. Next to stand in is Josh Lowe. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he misses Lowe here, so the count goes to three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Batting four. The first baseman. Yeah. Haley. Stepping in now, Jim Haley. Oh, and he lays off this I one down and in for ball two. Ball He's fallen behind now, down. three and one. Grant K would be next. for a base hit. Lowe is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Standing in now, Grant K swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Gutierrez gets there for the catch and that ends the inning.
Leading off the inning, it'll be Jason Hayward. And they could use a spark from him here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now it'll be number seven. First trip to the plate for him in the ball game. The one one. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Now at the plate, Carlos Sepulveda. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. half of the second set to go and next it'll be the outfielder Nick Schnell the 3 1 and he takes ball four leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second so next to hit is Michael Brasso. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Next, it'll be Taylor Walls. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1-1 one -one takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Schnell leads off first with one away. Fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Now at the plate, here is Andrew Romine, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Into the corner and slicing foul. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now here's the pitch. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Another payoff pitch. Full count still. The next three, two. 
And he lays off nope. there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Stepping in next, Jose Gutierrez. First chance for him here with the man on following the leadoff walk. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Next, it'll be Nick Madrigal. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's a look over to first, and he'll dive back in. Runners on first with one down. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schnell is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the plate is Connor Myers. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-1 home. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. 3-1 to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. 3-2, two, two out, okay. runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a pop-up now. Bruhan is there. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now. Now it'll be the catcher, Joseph Odom. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Slow roller, left side. Scooped up. And a good throw gets him one gone. Up next, now Vidal Bruhan. He bounced out last time Vidal. up. Bruhan. Wanted to oh, go after the right. slider, but he holds off three and one. Jordan Luplo will be next. Here's a swing and a miss at the off speed pitch. It's a full count now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got hey. this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit now change up? Right field. Or do you stay with the heat? He throws him on the fastball there. Whoa. Vidal Bruhan becomes out number two this inning. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Out of the plate, Bryce Ball will match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Pulled high in the air out to right field. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. One out, base is empty, and that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. That's 3-1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hayward takes as that pitch misses for ball four. He'll take the walk. Next to hit is number seven, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And he nope. misses that's again. Ball four. ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base now on ball. Designated hitter. Striding forward now is the Hermosillo. DH. Michael Hermosillo trying here to plate the tying run from second. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. So stepping in is Carlos Sepulveda trying to bring in the tying run from third here. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Ready with the one-two. Fouled off. The set. And the one-two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. I'll try to carry one three. down and away, but it's full count now. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Striding in is Andrew Romine. Potential tying run for him at third base. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Josh Lowe. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Now back, first baseman. Into the box, Jim Haley. And that one finds the target on the outside corner, two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he fouls this one off. The next 3-2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Myers is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now to the plate, here is now Grant Kaye. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Working for the punch out and the offering. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now back. Left field. Nick. No. At the plate, Nick Schnell. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Hayward has a read on it, and he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Mike Brasso digging in at the plate, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Slider swung on and grounded towards short. And he'll go the out. short way to retire the side. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up the outfielder Jose Gutierrez the one two weak grounder down the line at third 
And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The batter number one. Second base. At the plate now, Nick Madrigal. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Two and two. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Hit back up the middle. A jumping catch at second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Next to hit, Connor Myers. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. This one's down to third. He's got it. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. Michael Rooker, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Stepping up is Taylor Walls. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next up is Joseph Odom. Grounded out in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The batter, number seven. So Second the bases base are empty with two gone Vidal. now. And up now will be Vidal Brujan. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through for a hit. Now batting right fielder. Jordan. Into the box now. Jordan Lupo. Oh, Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Ball, ball three. Time. Josh Lowe would be next. Oh, and this fastball is built at the deep left center field. Does he have enough to get out of here? Yes, a home run. In now, Josh Lowe. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Rip toward the gap in right. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The first base is double 23. Yeah. To the plate now, Jim Haley. No contact there, and it's one and two. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. He'll try again, one, two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hayward has a read on it, and that's the third out. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And here comes the first baseman, Bryce Ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. 3-1. and one. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And the payoff pitch. 
Line drive, base hit to right. Now batting, the right field. Jason standing in now, Jason Hayward. And he misses again, ball four, and his control is really letting him down now. And now, number seven, couple of walks for him thus far. Oh, Hit the good. target, but this is low, two and one. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Fouled away. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Michael Hermosillo, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Another full count pitch home. Fly ball right down the line and left. Schnell is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Next, here is Michael Hermosillo. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batting. Digging in will be Carlos Sepulveda. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the three and two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. A payoff pitch one more time. Hot shot on the ground is short. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Grant Cade. Popped up. Ball shading to his right. One away. Next up, Nick Schnell. He had a sack fly earlier. 1-1. One, one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The designated hitter. Next will be the designated Michael. hitter, Michael Brasso. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Josh Fleming is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 19. And now here is Andrew Romine struck out in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. The left field. So now here is Jose Gutierrez. He's working on a one for two game so far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nick Madrigal. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. A 1 1 home. Sliced hard on the ground. Scooped up. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. The 1 1 home. This is on the ground over to first. 
throw to first is in time for the first out. So next to bat will be Joseph Odom. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1 one home is offered at and missed. Ill-advised swing that time. Man, I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. The next one, two pitch. I got to count. Two and one two. out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now to bat, Vidal Brujan. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. To one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Full count now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. And stepping in, Connor Myers. He'll start us off in the eighth. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So here is Bryce Ball. Last time through was a base hit. The 2 2. To third. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. Jason here now the 2-2 hit weakly back to the mound throw the first beats him easily and the side is retired at the plate now is Jordan Luplo and he's coming off a two run homer his last time around well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Myers, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Next to dig in, Josh Lowe. Three hits in three trips to the plate for him so far. Now the 2-1 pitch. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Hayward is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jim Haley. He flew out in his last day B. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in, the switch hitter, number seven. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Nope, inside. Hasn't Ball seen pitch. a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first through the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So now into the box is Michael Hermosillo. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. On the first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now that Digging in next, Carlos Sepulveda comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. And it's fouled away. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he holds on and the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save. 
That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. 4 nothing to score this afternoon. Durham jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Tyler Glasnow gets the W on the mound. Paul Stewart was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For Iowa, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.